gonna wait for a few new people. <laughs> Stupid. Oh, more of my vaporwave socks, and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> Jesus. Hello. How's it going? Oh, hey, how's it going? Sorry, I see the comment, and then I'm like, oh, no, there's the name. Hello, Dreamin' Digital. <laughs> yes, I'm live for once. I'm like, mm-mm, and thought, let's, let's go live because I have time. I actually have time this month to do something else other than work and then side hustle. And then I feel like I should, I should go live making mixes. Like, but then again, I like, <laughs> there may or may not be things that I like don't need my followers to know. No, it's like, it's nothing bad. It's just like, there are times when I might not listen to the full song, and I'm like, okay, this this what um, this transition's good. Let's move on to the next part. And I'm pretty sure people like notice it. Where in some of my mixes, it's just like a okay. Like I had somebody on a recent mix say, it almost gets louder towards the end, and I actually went to go and check, and I'm. If it's really noticeable, I'll, like, re-upload it in a different way, but it looked like, um, how do I describe this? Um, in my app, you can do, like, the whole song goes, like, quiet and then kind of gets louder as it ends, or you can do the opposite. And I think for the whole mix, it just kind of went up. But anyways, I am doing decent, Dreamin' Digital. How are y'all doing? I used to do live stream. I used to try to live stream a video. Yeah. <laughs> I was doing that a bit with, um... I was doing run-throughs of, um, Ocarina of Time, Banjo-Tooie, and Mario Party 3. Because I'm like, well, it's nostalgic. It's, it's 90s or early 2000s. It's, um... It's kind of on brand for me so I thought why not um what's the word I'm looking for now um show and tell I don't know let's just say that oh, color still looks good I haven't like dyed my hair since I bleached my roots so all that regrowth, this is just the same color from that. I used to be a hairstylist, so I'm very, um, I pride myself on the fact that like, even when my hair looks like shit, it still looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if anybody wants to ever dye their hair green, this is the color. It's called Cowabunga by Good Dye Young. Um, Haley Williams from the band Paramore. It's her brand, which I think is really cool. <laughs> Groovy Chief, I love that. <laughs> no, the month's been like pretty good to me so far. I got oh, I got tattooed the other day, like Monday, like two days ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Green screen production. Could you imagine just like all green hair, and then all of a sudden it's like bald <laughs> but um i'll show you guys my tattoo uh, can I this? oh i can 
So I got teeth on barbed wire. The color scheme is a little bit more on the brown side. So it's like rotted teeth. I wanted it done more like, um, like a saw uh, poster, but still within the artist's style. And I love it. I've been meaning to go and see this artist for like three years now. Um, I live an hour west of Toronto in Canada, in Ontario. So, hmm. Not a whole lot of my followers are from, your subscribers are from Canada. So how do I describe this? Kind of like in the States, how you have states. We have provinces, but they're just bigger. Um, so I'm in Ontario, which is north of like Michigan and um, New York. I would say like I'm closer to like Buffalo or like I probably like you know like two hours north of like Buffalo kind of thing but um this guy's from Edmonton which is all the way in Alberta which is north of I want to say it's north in South Dakota like if you were to go up from there um but so like you know this guy finally came over to Toronto tattooed me so I'm like I want it within your style but this is a like what I want and I'm just really happy with the, res with the results and super cool hangout and all that kind of stuff. Canada represent, yes. Where the fuck are you from? <laughs> That's some Bloodborne art. Honestly, my ex used to play that. Um, I never did, just, I, no, I'm, those aren't the games for me but I still really appreciate them and I love to watch them. Um, did, it hurt com did it hurt compared to others? Yes and no. The inner thigh. Anyone ever plans to get their inner thigh tattooed? Godspeed. I still have, um, they're called hydromorphone. Um, just like painkillers from when I had my wrist surgery. I didn't take them all because when I take them consistently, it really fucks with my bowels. So, um, you know, TMI. Um, so I use them now for like when I'm getting a really intense tattoo. I don't get them done for my hand pokes because it's nothing. Like it's it's like no pain whatsoever. So I eventually want to go to Thailand and get a soup yacht. Um, it's like a prayer in the form of a tattoo, and it's all like hand poked with like a big needle. I don't want I don't want to numb it. So I'm just gonna go. Can you make more VHS pop mixes? VHS pop like. Like the subgenre or um, like VHS aesthetic. Because I will totally do that. Any requests? I, I'm, okay. Whoever's been asking for the Wild West mix, I have four songs so far in that mix. It does take me a while to do these really niche mixes, but they do get done. Because you guys ask for them and I'm like, you know what? One, it's a challenge. Two, it adds more aesthetic. Three, it gives me an idea. Four, it's what you guys are asking for. So, you know, like I've been saying, my channel I originally made for me to just post mixes for myself, but once I started seeing like, oh, I have a following, let's do both. More chill hop mixes, yeah. In the works, we got some lo-fi on the way. And a BC, okay. I've been meaning to go to Vancouver because my hand poke artist, she moved from Kitchener, Ontario, where I'm like from, uh, to BC and, or to Vancouver. And I'm like, I've been just meaning to go out there, do like a little, do a little solo trip and all that kind of stuff. Hey guys. I love your mixes. Oh, thank you. West Coast represent. <laughs> Oh, we, oh shit, I didn't realize that was two messages. We got two BCs out here. Nice. Malls off, please. On the way. I, uh, June 26th. June 26th. Four days after my birthday. Um, it is called the Shinto Shopping Center. So I wanted to do mall soft that had a very, like, Asian vibe. Whether it was feudal or, um, uh, modern. And I found a way to mix the two of them. I don't remember who the artist is. It looks very much like it was done by Cake, who does the, um, the VR Mallsoft. Um, the one that was, I, I'm pretty sure, guys, I have like 300 mixes, but I'm pretty sure that it was the open for business where it was very like 3D rendering, um, VR style. Um, 
one, I'm hoping it's that artist and I'm like not just like talking out of my ass, but I do get most of my pictures from Tumblr and sometimes they don't always credit. So I'm like, I take it back to where I got it. And then if anybody wants to add to it, I add that to my description. You help me get me better idea. <laughs> Thanks for the awesome cup. The squirrels are attacking. Uh, thanks for the awesome content. Gotta say, YYZ Airport. I was listening to that one for a really long time. Um, I liked the concept. I know there, you know, there are some people who don't like the whole view, but I'm like, it's a simulation video. It's like my, my one hour mall soft walking. Yeah, I don't have VR. I don't know any of that side of video game stuff, but... I really appreciate people who just make things like, you know, keeping Vaporwave alive, keeping like that aesthetic or like that side of aesthetics alive, which is why like, you know, my channel exists because I like that kind of shit. <laughs> Enigma of the Dark Void. What a name. I love that. Don't mind me. I'm getting high. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I kind of work in a dispensary. This is even, like, an LP shirt that, um... Well, they gave my boyfriend, but, like, I'm just wearing it because I'm cold. It's a colder day in Canada summer. I don't remember the last time I, that we had colder days in June, but with the wildfires, like, it's been raining a lot lately, and I'm like, thank you. The asthmatic stoner who like it's the haze in the air that bugs me more than like the smoking ever will so i had to get myself like a new inhaler and i'm like fuck that <laughs> how's everybody enjoying the new mixes i know i was saying to a couple people like my my uh pride month mix the one that came out on the first i like the imagery for it i like the songs together it's a compilation it's not a mix so you know um i got i was getting a lot of really good com comments from it and compliments and i'm just like yeah yeah <laughs> But when this is, like, what I do, and then I come out with one that I'm just, like, maybe not that, um, yeah, like, I just, I wanted to come out for one, or I wanted to come out with one for Pride Month, and, um, showcase, like, LGBTQ plus, uh, artists. That was just the concept for that. My newest mix, I'm really happy with that one. I love the way that it sounds, the having a bud with the buds, <laughs> the Deadweiser. <laughs> Um, love the way that that one sounds because it's very like it's uppity but you could chill to it and like sit by the pool, sit by the beach has the smoke been dissipating out there? yeah so I actually I can tell when there's like a huge haze versus haze versus um like a little one this one's actually called Mango Kiwi Hay- Um, uh, no, Blaze. That- this one's called Blaze. Same concept, whatever. Um, but I can really tell because, like, I'm asthmatic, so there are days where I'm, like, I go for a walk, and I'm like, it's getting really hard to breathe. And then other times where I'm like, ah, oh, that- that's nice. That nice, clean air. <laughs> I so badly want to move to Canada someday in my life. Even though I live there, or live here, Ontario, I'm like, our provincial government's not that great, so if you plan to move here, maybe wait until 2026 when we have our next election and get drug fraud out. <laughs> our, like, provincial um, representative, who would, I guess, the equivalency to the states would be, like, the, the representative of state, or the something like that um he's just such an asshat we have more conservative which i guess would be republican um and it's just like 
we all had to watch this man break down crying during the lockdown because he fucked up so hard and he's still continuing to fuck up. He's trying to privatize um, healthcare and do all this kind of stuff. So um, we've been doing petitions like, no, you're not gonna do that. Absolutely not. Like, do you want to get kicked out of office or, or some bullshit like that? So anyways, I vote third party every time because we need it. Uh, I have quest two to connect. My PC can't handle the power, honestly. <laughs> My laptop can't handle power. I used to want to try like World of Warcraft and I'm like, but I don't want a desktop. So I'm gonna try my laptop. Nope. Is living in Canada noticeably different than where I am? It's like diet America, if that makes sense. Like anything that happens in the States comes up here, like, um, you know, protesting and drag bans and things like that. We don't have drag bans because we, you know, we have freedom of speech. We have free, uh, freedom of like creative expression. Um, you know, gay marriage is legal, trans rights, all that kind of stuff. Like we have no issue with that here. But that's not to say that we don't still get assholes who think, oh, you're grooming the children, you're doing this kind of stuff. It's like, we don't even fucking like to perform for kids. When we do an all-age show, we're appropriate. I just did one the other day. It was so super cool. But, no, it's like we get like a diet dose of it. Um, or it's like we don't have, like we have complete ban on guns that aren't like, you know, oh, it's a hunting rifle specifically for hunting. Like, when gun violence happens here, it's a big, big thing. And not to say it doesn't happen here, but it's like, we don't tolerate it. Nobody needs guns, and that's my view on that. Keep up the good, or keep up the good work, thank you. Um... I would love to put the ones with similar styles and playlists. Thank you. <laughs> I listened to the Pride Month one several times. It's like a gay soundtrack. I love that. No, it's just learning that like some of my favorite artists are within like a community that I'm a part of, like or like multiple communities that I'm a part of, like the vaporwave community, the LGBT. <laughs> See, even I fuck it up sometimes. The queer community. Um, it's, it's nice. Like, Internet Club is my favorite vaporwave artist. I'm like, oh my god, they're non-binary? That's awesome. That's so fucking cool. Or, um, <laughs> I've seen pictures of Blood Wave, so, like, absolutely no disrespect to Blood Wave. Again, one of my, like, top, I'm gonna say five favorite artists. Um, like, Distant is, is my, my vaporwave anthem. But, um... I'm like, you look very gay, and I love that. <laughs> like, queer presenting and things like that. It's very gender. Um, agreed, not a fan of our... Honestly, I'm so fucking done with Ford. Um, I'm neutral to this whole month, but I hope you have a great NZ for Pride Month. Thank you. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Ever saw Nirvana the band, the show? Nirvana the band the show because I'm pretty sure I've heard of that specific I've obviously heard of Nirvana but like I want to say yes I want to say I've heard the name politician crying I want to see no look up Doug Ford breaks down or Doug Ford crying or something it would have been back in either 2020 or early 2021 like at this point I don't even fucking like know because it was just such a mind fuck Keek we were just talking about you <laughs> Um, I'm coming out with a mix called Shinto Shopping Center, and I got it from Tumblr, but I don't know if I got, like, or if they put where it came from, or if it was actually from that person. Um, it comes out June 26th. If it is your picture, please comment, and I'll, like, add you to the description, like, um, created by Cake VR Chat. Um, <laughs> at least you don't have Biden. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it seems like Biden's better than Trump, which is one of those things, like, what's the lesser of two evils? I don't personally like our prime minister too much. Like, Justin Trudeau does almost, like, it's like, you're doing too much. You're giving too much of our money away. Um, 
or just things like that. Um, lockdowns, like he was not helpful with whatsoever. Um, it was basically like, we. it made us feel like we were prisoners where it's just like, do we need to have this lock lockdown? Absolutely. But like the fact that like our travel, excuse me, our travel bans and things like that aren't like going into place as much. It's just redundant where it's like, there's so much flipping back and forth. I'm glad he legalized because like, I wouldn't have the job that I do right now. Eh, like, here's the thing is it's like, you've got conservative and you got liberal and neither of them work. So I'm very third party. There's one called, um, for those in the, um, who don't live in Canada, we have a party called, or we have two parties called the, um, the NDP, the New Democratic Party, which is, I'm going to say like, if liberal is more left center, NDP is more left, but also very like, you, neither of you two have good options. So here's a third option. And then Green Party is like a really nice party. It's just one of those things like they maybe get five to 10% of the vote where I would love to see them get bigger. It's very like, you know, climate change and like clean drinking water for indigenous people, all that kind of stuff. We need that. All right, just doing my like little, <laughs> I need to be political in some kind of way. Gun issues in the states here are insane. It's like there's a shooting every week. Guns aren't the problem, it's the people who have. But we wouldn't have these these problems if it weren't for guns in general. It's like, you know, give people knives. Let's see how, how um, detrimental that'll be. Will we have like mass knife, you know, thing? like, you know what I mean? Where it's like, give them a different weapon and, and we'll see what they do with it. Luxury elite and waterfront dining are amazing. Yeah, Internet Club is absolutely amazing. I honestly love them. Dude, I was so hyped for Otaku Shop. I was looking for something like this forever. I liked that one. Like, an, I wanted um, an anime shop. I used to go to this one called Conspiracy Comics in Hamilton, Ontario. And then in Waterloo, I only went once and I bought the first disc of dot hack legend of the twilight because they th this was before they did seasons and um really good anime but it was like maybe four months after i went they had to close the store down because they just weren't making enough sales and it was very like fye like but all anime um luxury they dropped new oh nice awesome you're 100% my favorite playlist maker. Keep making, keep up the amazing work. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Right, the old political system is out of touch and so dead. We need a new option. It, when you're given one or the other, neither one are gonna work. You need to have multiple options. Like, I like that we have I'm going to say we have four options here. We have a fifth one, but they get like 0.3% of the vote. And it's very like, it's too right wing to the point where it's like, no, you guys are literal Nazis. You literally want to see people dead. So fuck that shit. Knife will cause problems. It's the people who use guns. And I yeah, but we still don't need guns. Like you can have a hunting rifle for hunting like my best friend hunts and like you know uses every part of the animal i'm like no you are somebody who like you use it for its purpose to hunt animals to eat it's just it's so fucked i i remember somebody saying once like um what is it guns are the um the only thing that we use today that are actually meant to kill and, um, I mean, like, you know, bombs are just another fucking form of it, but, like, we barely even use, like, we don't use those here. That's, like, other, like, you know, war countries and things like that, but we don't need guns. Like, Australia, they had their last mass shooting, or however many mass shootings between, like, the 90s and the early 2000s, and then they banned it completely. Haven't had a mass shooting since. Why can't, and, you know, like, if I'm talking out my ass or whatever, like, please put in your input, do something, but because I don't live in the States, why do, why do we need them? Why does the States need guns? Why do anywhere need guns, right? Like, 
I'm just, I'm anti-gun, pro-choice, so, you know, I'm Republican's worst nightmare. <laughs> Jeff and oh my god, hey, how's it going? No name legend. I'm about to go to bed, but just drop by. Where are you from? Wait, I, I feel like you told me once, I don't know. No guns has worked wonders in Japan. There's proof that n no guns policy can work. Yeah. Thoughts on Shopping World, JP? She's a trans vaporwave artist who was on the other half. Oh, okay. I'm definitely gonna look that up here. Let me screenshot that. Just a second. The screen shot kind of did something on my end. No, there. There we go. Sorry, it was just glitching for a sec because I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I just wanted to screenshot something. <clears throat> Guns cause casualties per attack. Then and that and that's what I'm saying. It's just at this point, it's like people have so many guns in the states, like. You know, you go to ban them, but, like, how many are hidden in, like, people's houses or, like, you know, something like that, right? It's the whole narrative that, oh, the government, like, you know, it's to protect myself from the government. If the government came to your house with weapons and guns and things like that, you... You wouldn't have the time to go and grab them. You wouldn't have the capacity to grab them because you'd probably already be dead. Um, <laughs> wishful thinking. <coughs> <coughs> oh my God, growth. I remember it in, um, I think it was 2020 or, or early 2021. I was having some live streams, smoking some weed and I'd be there for like, two or three minutes hacking up a lung as opposed to now where it's like i've cut down a lot like i maybe only have one of these a day or every no actually i'm gonna say like per week i maybe have like five joints per week it's more i have like a little they're ca it's called a live resin cart like the the vape cartridges that people usually smoke or like the little the, the dab pen shatter pens it's not the official term for it because it's not shatter but um live resins like the cleaner higher quality more full spectrum so it's like you're actually getting 100 percent the pure thing and um better for your lungs better for better high all that kind of stuff distill it's really cheap and it like makes you cough so you don't smoke that and we don't do this so much but i i work with it like it's kind of hard not to be around it as an American, I think we have guns because they've grandfathered. But the Second Amendment was like a musket, not an AK-47, not an assault rifle. I'd even be fine if it was like, you're allowed to have a hunting rifle and a pistol. You know, regu regulations, like you don't need to ban guns completely yet or at all if if it were to work but like change the laws in a way where it's like you don't need you don't need these weapons that like people can't have open casket um funerals like because it's like or like they have to use your teeth to get your medical files and and actually identify who you are second amendment in the usa was originally instituted people to protect themselves again. yeah like you know what kind of tyranny do we have in north america like as a whole but like especially in the state well yeah i don't know again like just just my opinion but uh obviously that doesn't really apply now things have changed and the government is slow as hell. like honestly the only time where I actually thought, like, you know what? Where is everybody's guns? And why aren't they, like, you know, going after the government and things like that? It was um, Minnesota during, um, like, when George Floyd was killed and the um, the big BLM 
riots happened, that's when I was like, where, why don't the BLM protesters, but then again, it's the opposite side that wouldn't really have the guns. But still, I was just like, that is probably the time when you would have used it, or like a, a good time that like, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> maybe it's just my stone thoughts, maybe it's just whatever, but the government wanted to attack, they have bombs and mass casualty weapons. And that's what I'm saying, like, I'm sorry, but your, your Republican Christian conservative family with your little AK-47s that even little Jimmy three years old can use, you're still gonna get raised, R-A-Z-E-D, to the ground. You are going to be, like, there's not gonna be anything left but some blood and veins and teeth. <laughs> sorry, that was, that was grim. That was grim. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's my tattoo talking. I have a pistol for protection. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't need mil military grade weapons to protect my house. I'm good. I have good. There you go. <laughs> but, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't need this giant. Yeah, like, war weapon. It's, it. To me, it's very much like the. Why do people have an F-150 or 250 or whatever the truck, like the, oh, look at my big truck, because I have such a small <laughs> It's just very that, or it's like, what do you have to be so insecure about that you need to buy this giant um, automatic or semi-automatic gun to, like, no. Uh, I still think we'll need guns for our own protection, but... Mm. Yeah. It, it would be nice to live in a world without, like, any weaponry that, like... I almost want to, like... This is more like the Final Fantasy and me coming out, but, um... I would love something more like, um... I, I challenge you to a duel kind of thing, like... Um, like having a sword strapped to my, my, uh, side, or it's like, yeah, like, you know, like a dagger or something like that. Um, again, the, like, the fantasy side coming out of me. Um, when, I'm gonna say this, like, as a whole, because it's like, I know people have guns right now, because other people have guns to protect themselves, where it's just the cycle just keeps going. I'm so, also, I'm so sorry. I'm just realizing how long I've been talking about this. But um, when, you know, it's just like, you gotta break the cycle somewhere, but it's just, when you have a gun and another person doesn't, it's it's cowardly. Because it's, it's you saying, I can't take this person on barefisted or anything like that. Like I couldn't take this person on if I wanted to. So I'm gonna cheat and put one right between your eyes, or in your heart, or just in your body somewhere kind of thing. It's just sad, people have become so violent. Yeah, like, it's like violence is almost in our blood, you know, as just people in general, and like what we've all been through since like, you know, the before ages, but you want the samurai age, but I do, I wanna be a shogun, like just fucking, have a huge um oh my god I, uh, I can't remember what the the actual the type of sword is called but like Masamune was like the um like the legendary blade so I'd want one like that some say to take away the guns because they take away innocent lives but others say the complete opposite and see like there there are just so many different views on it where what do we do? Because, especially in the States right now, it's very, it seems very, Katana, thank you, thank you. Um, it seems very, the tango is this, ta Tonto is the smaller one. Okay. I don't think I've heard that word before, but yeah, the, the Katana was the, the word I was looking for. Um, but yeah, there's just, there's so many different views right now where it's like, do, and it's so like divided, uh, I don't want to say 50-50 because I do find that like, people are very make love, not war, you know, be good over be evil or just anything like that in general. What do we do, right? 
and it's just it's sad it's sad that's all i can say we are divided as hell even in canada it's like um i think like the last election that our prime minister even called to, which to me i was like that that is some ego boost for you um because it was like haha i got in again but it's like the our conservative party was really getting up there and i would vote conservative if they had like good enough points but it's just like stop trying to take rights away from people that don't need them taken away like lgbtq plus people or like women or just um you know and doing budget cuts and all this kind of things all these kind of things like i would vote if it meant we get more money for the country not the one percent or the people that are like you know above working class because i'm sorry i'm working class and i need a party that like most of us are working class a lot of us are homeless too or like in my situation living at home still and it's like i would love to have my own place but i know that i can't afford that who needs to live like that and it's it's in canada it's in the states like it seems like it's in most countries or um i saw a video and it, it was a really good point it was i we don't really like i have a lot in my savings but i don't want to have to take it out i want to be somewhere where my money has more value if that makes sense like um like i want i would love to have like you know a one or, or two or you know one or two bedroom apartment from 600 to a thousand it's like fourteen hundred dollars for a new one bedroom and at least that price for a bachelor in toronto or the gta that's disgusting no one needs to worry about like heat or eat or like where am i going to be living in the next year am i if i lose my job am i going to be financially stable just things like that for me it's like i have my day job cannabis i have drag which i made 800 dollars in the last weekend so that is quite a lot but it is physically grueling <laughs> not always but like it can be and then i get um some social assistance because i technically work part-time during the week and then my drag job is all under the table so i don't have to claim that and even then it's i'm struggling a bit so it's like i'm getting all this money and i know that i wouldn't be able to afford to live alone so my parents literally said come back move back in save as much money as you can where I am right I am right now I do um I have a drag account it's on uh, Instagram it's misconduct m i s s c o n d u c t 666 I had twisted sister notice me by the way I did we're not going to take it this weekend um tag them and they liked my video and I'm like oh my god that's awesome so fucking cool uh, message retracted. Bitch, what the fuck do you say? <laughs> America is really bad when it comes to stirring the racism and pot is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Again, like, Canada's no better because there's there's a lot of, like, systematic racism, like, more so with the government than with, its, with um, the people, but with indigenous people, where it's like, you are borderline trying to eradicate a race, and that's disgusting like the residential school system, which obviously carried on in the States as well. Um, and just things like that. Like a lot of my indigenous friends who were raised cultural and indigenous are very like, you know, we're trying to teach as much about our, our culture as we can to keep our culture alive. And I think that's amazing. Uh, nowhere has affordable housing for the working class nowadays. It's ridiculous. Mm hmm honestly it's fucking stupid and then people who have the money who vote conservative and it's just like to get like more money for them oh i don't want like rich people taxes and things like that and it's just like we're not even trying to take that much from you it's just if you make it over a certain amount you should be helping out and doing your part you don't need a second house you don't need to get horses for yourself um even like as a hobby or whatever the fuck. like you know what i mean like you know 
buy a twenty thousand dollar horse. Don't buy a hundred fucking thousand dollar horse or something yeah. stupid like that. I don't know. Weird example. <clears throat> Me not into the whole drag queen stuff, but that's your life. That's all I ask for. I it, it doesn't have to be people's things. I know I've posted it a couple times, but just be you know. Hey guys, this is a little bit of me. It's Pride Month. Let me talk a little bit about what else I do, kind of thing. Was basically what that was about um, a couple weeks ago. But no, like drag isn't for everybody. Trust me. Like I don't entirely like it myself because of the drama in the scene. Um, just different views on different things. Cost of living is insane. Absolutely. I'm a straight woman, not being weird. I love makeup and fashion. Thank you. Um, no, it's so much fun. It's so much fun. Thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. Don't go on a Starlight tour in Saskatchewan. But worst mistake of your life. The fact that cops would literally take indigenous people out in the middle of winter and basically leave them with nothing and then say walk back walk back to town they weren't meant to survive like that the like how, how do you do that to someone right like or until um until the 60s i think it was you could buy an indigenous child essentially as a slave but like people aren't aren't for sale we don't we don't do that to each other Plans to have a Discord server someday? I know nothing about Discord. If anyone wants to teach me about it, um, in a way where like I don't have like 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 I said like I I work as a cannabis bud tender. I I make mixes for y'all. I do and and for me obviously. I do drag. I do like all these other things too. If someone wants to teach me Discord while also having the time to have discord and all that kind of stuff absolutely i would absolutely do a server this message is held for review gotta go have shit to do valhalla is coming <laughs> have a good one enigma discord is a lot to handle in my opinion very busy yeah which is what i've been hearing a lot too amazing mixes my dude good to see you love thank you um, I see more transphobic people ended up shockingly becoming, that's typically the thing is it's projection. We had this guy in, uh, London, Ontario, who, um, was like, don't go to drag story times because they're groomers. This guy has seven counts of sexual assault. It's called projection. It's the people who come to protest beat their kids. S.A like sexual abuse um like all that kind of stuff in the drag scene we don't condone any of any negative behavior drama like drug use um like anything we don't no, no, none of it with drag story time it is there's no contact because a lot of people like to say oh like you know drag queens sit on like or um you know children sit on drag queens laps and things like that no they don't no they do not we do not let that happen but anyways uh, blah, 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 blah. Discord is like a woman's first. It's hard to find anything in there. <laughs> it's Mary Poppins' bag. Absolutely. Um, I think I can help you out someday if you want. For sure. And the thing with my channel, too, is, like, I don't make any money off of it. And, um, like, I just, I do solo myself. So I wouldn't want... Oh, like, does somebody else want to handle my Discord kind of thing? Like, if I had a Discord, I would want to handle it completely. The same way that I handle my channel completely. I had, like, a, an Instagram account as well that was, like, you know, me reposting aesthetics and things from Tumblr, from mixes and things like that. But it just wasn't really going anywhere. And it was, it was when my channel only had, like, 100 followers. So that's fine. I keep saying followers. Subscribers. Subscribers. <laughs> hey oh, happen to catch the stream. I really appreciate all the great mixes. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, it really is. Hence why I don't own a Discord server. Yeah. Like, I went on a couple times. 
more like Pokemon Go related stuff, so it's like only you only go on when you play it. Um, relatable, honestly. <laughs> uh, I can Okay, so um, somebody explained this to me. Like, oh, are you just like, like you just keep everything in your pocket? You don't have an inventory bag. So I have like um, like a little backpack. It's a coach bag that like slings either in the in the front or in the back. It doesn't hold too much, but like I fill it to the brim, and then I'll, I'll have like a tote bag that I'll keep like on my shoulder. That usually has my my lunch, my water bottle, um, a book if I bring one to uh, to read. The one I read is like the subtle art of not giving a fuck, the millennials' guide to getting by in life. Um, great book. If you haven't read it, read it. <laughs> Um, just things like that, so. There are times where I'm like, where the fuck is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. I do, I do have a Patreon account, so, um, it is in my channel description. Like, if you go to my channel profile, it should be, like, the about section. It'll say just that, but if you wanted to look me up on Patreon, it's just deep sea current, one word. Um, I basically use that as, because I don't get, like, I make no money from YouTube, guys. I, my videos are not monetized because I don't want what possibly happened to, to Curd T. Bata. Um, like, I don't want to lose my channel just because it's like, oh, I want to make a couple books. Whenever there's, like, a copyright slam, like, when I get, hmm. Like, my C-Punk mix. There's um, an artist named Ultra Demon, and they have a song called Rare. No, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a better example. Blank Banshee will not let me use any of their music. I don't know if it's me personally or if it's just channels in general, That is, but that is completely up to them. And I respect that completely. Um, but there have been times... Like, there was one time where they were like, you have three strikes. And I believe I used one, but it, I... I think, I think, because sometimes it's an accident where they, it, like, resets, but I, uh, it's basically three strikes and you're out, and I'm like, I don't, I don't want to, like, piss off YouTube, I don't want to do anything like that, um, because I love making my mixes, and I love, like, it, it's really rewarding to me to help out the community, like, if I lost my channel, I would be back with a new one. Trust me on that. <clears throat> it's rewarding in the sense of, like... This is gonna sound really corny, but, like... I see the payment from you guys as, like... Leave me comments. Leave me, like... Um, like, if it's a mall mix, be like... Oh, I remember this time at the mall that, like... This happened. Or I used to go to the mall and do this. Or I used to get, like... Go to this kiosk. This, like, um restaurant or something like that that really warms my heart because it takes me back to a better time in my life when it was like we went to the local mall or the, the arcade the rollerama bowling alleys um watching spongebob on tv like going out to play in like the um the forest across the street from my house and things like that because like i really some hissing in the background i really went through it for a good seven years when i was with my ex it was like i'm just gonna say it because it's like i i'm over it now um i, I was in an abusive relationship and my escape was actually it started off with tumblr and then it went into making music mixes which went into the channel obviously um, it's funny how the LGBTQ haters claim to be Christians. Uh, um, I thought they were supposed weren't supposed to hate anyone. Yeah, love thy neighbor as thyself. Only God can judge. And if you, um, you see yourself any at the same or higher position as God, that's sin. So, I mean, because <laughs> like, I I have like Christian and Catholic followers. I was raised Catholic. Um, who say like you know. I don't agree with your lifestyle or I don't agree with drag or being gay, but like, I still support you and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, and that's perfectly okay. That, it's your view, but it's like, that's what it means. It's like, you look past that. 
like I have conservative friends. I tell them my point of view, but I'm like, I'm not here to, to influence, or well, all I can do is influence, excuse me. I'm not here to change your point of view. I'm only here to give you an insight on my point of view in the same way that you are to me. I just find that there is so much hate on one side versus the other. Like, it's like the one side, all, all we want is like equal rights and protection. And the other side literally wants to see us dead or not exist, which is sad. But anyways, <laughs> uh, the servers I'm in are YouTuber servers or friend servers, yeah. Discord is something, Discord is something. I can't read that comment. Oh. Hey, current, I'm the guy who... Yeah, Helium. Oh, trust me, I see every comment, like, um... Uh, just been added to my, my Deep Sea Current playlist. I love it, I appreciate it. Because it's, it's, it is a lot of my really good mixes. Sometimes I'll put one out where I'm like, Ah! Oh, you didn't put it in my, in that playlist? I'm so offended because I worked so hard on this or I did such a good job. It's okay. <coughs> Amazing book title, 10 out of 10 would recommend to everyone, even non-millennials. It's a great book. Some of the chapters are like, you're not special, because I find like a lot of people, it's like, you know, you aren't entitled to certain things, or you're not entitled to being famous, you're not entitled to have it easy all the time, um, which was another one, like, you know, life isn't always easy. Um, don't believe everything that you hear, all that kind of stuff. How did you come up with your name? It originally was, like, the original one was just so on the spot that I didn't think about it. It was deep water current, and then I was like, no, deep sea current, obviously. Um, it came from deep sea creatures, like, um, like anglerfish and, like, really creepy things like that. Even though my aesthetic is, like, very, like, you know, soothing and, and aesthetic. Um, water has always been my thing like oceans um i remember i went to myrtle beach for like 11 or 12 days uh when i was 11 with my parents and it was like we had a place right on the beach um my mom's from the azores of portugal so it's a cluster of like it's an archipelago of islands just off the coast of um portugal and morocco it's sort of like you know iceland portugal morocco azores right here I've always just been attracted to the water. Like, like I need to be around the water. I love to be at the beach. I love to go swimming and things like that. So, yeah. I wish I knew what it was like at a mall I was born at. There's gotta be malls near you. Like, even if there's a whole bunch of stores closed in them, anything that's like a shopping center, go and just walk around. Like, e even if there's like, no one there and it's dead i was in toronto getting tattooed on monday and there's a place called the path um union station which is the main bus and train station you can literally walk under the city until you get to the main shopping center which like everything there is open but this this underground place it's so it's like a liminal um mall tunnel almost like there was this one place where i'm like this looks like it could have been like an old wendy's mcdonald's diner kind of area but it was like all the kiosks were closed it was that red and like red detailing with the beige kind of seats and and things like that where it was like the four seater tables but the chairs were attached and i'm like it it reminds it reminded me very much of um not I saw it in a dream. What's my one mix where, um... It's, it's a liminal mix. Um, Rad had sent it to me. And, um... It's like a dark shopping center, um, food court kind of area. Um, yeah. I don't worry much losing my YouTube channel. I most... I'm mostly from Twitch. Nice. I've only done, tw like, I haven't done Twitch. I, I watched, um, it was called Banshee. It was like, um, you know, four drag performers from the show Dragula, um, had like their own little show every Tuesday during the pandemic. So I'd be like, you know, yes, take my money. <laughs>
I'm a Christian. I don't give a fuck. I'm a furry. <laughs> nice. Uh, another moderator just handled this. I'm a moderator. What the fuck is this? I'm Catholic as well, but I haven't gone to church for much for the past years. Yeah, like, from K to 12, like, kindergarten till grade, grade 12, like, I went to Catholic schools. I wasn't confirmed in, in eighth grade. My mom was like, is this something that you want to go into? Like, do you want this? And I said, no. And they're like, well, you know, if you want to be married in the Catholic Church, and I'm like, yeah, because I, I want to be married in a Catholic Church. Me, gay man, who doesn't even want to get married anymore. Fuck that shit. <laughs> gay marriage? Uh, I mean, for others, just maybe not for me. <laughs> Stupid, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I actually feel, though, like, I'm glad that I went through the Catholic school board instead of the public school board. I feel like I maybe had it easier that way. And that I could have looked past it. Like, I even started practicing Wicca in um, ninth grade. So I've been, I'd say, practicing it for half my life at this point. And it's something that I feel more connected to. It's something that I enjoy more. And it was something that was, um, I don't want to say the word celebrated, but it was accepted for me at school. We had a lot of people who, like, practiced LeVay and Satanism. And I'm like, you would because you're an emo kid. But... <laughs> But, um, yeah. What are your favorite vapor genres right now? I would have to say, um, obviously Mallsoft, but, um, hmm. Actually, I'm gonna, okay. So I'd say, like, you know, three, Mallsoft, two, Vapor Funk, and then my ultimate favorite one right now is, um, Utopian Virtual, because I love how, like, I can almost see what the aesthetic is when I listen to a song. Like, um, uh, Prisma Corp Enterprises, uh, one of Vectroid's, um, other names, the Spa, um, album. I'm like, I can literally see, like, just certain aesthetics, whether it's like, you know, old internet, textbooks, um, maybe the physical aesthetic of a spa itself or just like an answering machine which is why a lot of my telephone answering machine mixes are um utopian virtual all right stories and water see frequently appear in them well we're we're 70 percent water why wouldn't we be attracted to the water also what the fuck my hair is starting to get so long in the back that's so cool <laughs> Did you say your birthday is on? Uh, no. So my birthday is on the 22nd. I have a mix coming out on the 26th called Shinto Shopping Center. So it's Asian Mall Soft is basically what the theme of that is. I think it's a really good one. So, yeah. I'm Virgo on Cancer Center. Okay. I'm a Cancer. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. I, obviously, that would confirm that June 22nd. <laughs> it is cusp. Marriage isn't my thing either. Can't get married anyway since polygamy ain't legal. Right. I kind of see myself as like a, I don't want to say like a polygamous person, but I guess open relationships would kind of be like that, which is my situation. Um, yeah. It's just one of those things like I don't believe everybody was meant to be monogamous. And the whole point of monogamy is like it's a, it's a moral or a way to like, I don't want to say, like, get into conspiracy, like, oh, it's controlling the masses, but, like, it's having that, like, you know, the family aspect. People are people, so. Why should it be you and I should get along so awfully? And so I waited. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again, like, I have, like, over 300 videos. I do not remember most of the names, and I'm pretty sure I've, like, I have two mixes where the name is pretty much the same other than one word and I don't remember which one it is at the moment but I was like fuck because <laughs> it's one of those things like too late because people know it as that and it's it's like oh well where'd this one go oops <laughs> I appreciate your work thank you Allie I really appreciate you I'm a fake 90s kid 99 okay but I spoke with my one friend who um, he was born in 2001, I'm gonna say. Because my friend who was born in 2004, like, 
didn't experience next to neither or next to any of the stuff that like Mia and my like 2001 friend were. Um, so I'm 94, my friend's 2001, and I'm explaining certain things and he's like finishing my sentences and I'm like, like I'm looking at him real confused. And he's like, I know, I know, I'm not a 90s kid, but like I, we still had the same childhood. Like, you know, like going, like being, that like you know going out outside to play as well as like having the internet msn neopets you know all that kind of shit and like um oh i had an n64 i also had, like all this kind of stuff and yeah i just thought it was cool <laughs> so don't worry about being born 99 i won't tell anyone hello from sunny blight blighty oh um blighty Oh, it says UK. Awesome. I am half British. Can't wait for the birthday Asian mall soft mix. <laughs> I think, um, technically my birthday mix would be... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Bumblebee. <coughs> we good? We good? We good? Um, yeah, can confirm also 2001, but got a fair bit of the 90s experience. Exactly. The 90s, in my opinion, didn't end until 2004, 2005, when we started getting into things like, you know, MTV and post-grunge, um, yeah, Avril Lavigne, no, well, Av Avril Lavigne was, yeah, Avril Lavigne, 2004, like, where it was, like, 90s, and then it, there was that little gray period of, like, the early 2000s, and then it went into, like, emo aesthetic and the death of aesthetics, in my opinion, where it's, um... The death of color. Where are all of our like yellow, blue, pink, red houses anymore? Or you go into a store, it's like, where the fuck is the color? You go into the mall, where the fuck is the color and the aesthetics? You have cool stores, but like Hot Topic, for example, biggest downgrade of my life because I, I dress that style, but. Uh, I live in the gray area between the 90s and the 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. LMAO joke request here. You do birthday mixes. When is your birthday and what kind of mix would you like? I would like, you know, maybe I'd write in the description, like, you know, happy birthday. But, um, I don't typically make mixes specifically for people like, you know, just my, my thing. Um, unless it's, it's a request being asked, like, um, the wild west one that, uh, I, who has anybody here been asking for that Wild West mix? Raise your hand. 9/11 <laughs> pretty much killed. It. Thank you. And I want to try and do an essay, like a video essay or something like that, where it's just like, since 9/11, where has a static been? But why? Could it be this? Could it be that? So, so I'm just gonna hold on just a sec. I'm gonna relight my joint, but I need to see what time it is because I need to go soon to start getting ready for work. It is, okay, it's 12, 17. I don't work until four, but I need to be home for two so that I can get ready and do all that. It only takes me half an hour to walk to work. And I'm so glad that I can walk to work because I love to do it. It's my best exercise. I like hospitals. It's like hospital aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> yes, I hate beige minimalism in architecture and fashion. It doesn't need to be everywhere is the thing. It's almost like, why is this this um, this room like blue? This is offensive. And it's like, what? why? Like, I could not imagine being so bitter to not appreciate an aesthetic or something like that. Or like, even now where it's just like, that's a rainbow, that's gay pride. And it's like, it's a fucking rainbow. It doesn't have to do with gay pride. Like the gay pride flag is rainbow, but rainbow isn't always gay. Like, y you know what I mean? It's it's like, I think some people are just getting really ridiculous right now. Or not, not some people, a lot of people, enough people. October 14th and chill wave. If you want to comment that, um, I'm going to like, I'm going to be on the stream for like 15 more minutes. If you want to comment that somewhere, anywhere, 
I, I see every single one of my comments. I'll screenshot it. And then, um, like, it, it is a while from now. Or no, no, you know what? Send me an email. It's deepseacurrent1994 at gmail.com. Send me, send me an email and then um, just to, you know, let me know what you want. And then um, closer to the birthday, like, like I'm going to say like, you know, mid-September, let me know again. And then I'll, I'll do that. October is going to be a crazy month for me. June and October are my busiest months for drag because I especially do horror drag. Um, so October is going to be the month for me. <laughs> I will have that done before October and then it'll be, um, if not on the actual day, it'll be, you know, like, because I do mine every five days, it'll be set up in a way where it's like the closest one to your birthday. But anyways, <laughs> um... If anybody else, like, has this, it's, like, Chill Wave, it's, it's, it's more genre-specific, so if, if anyone wanted, like, hey, you know, can you come out with a Future Funk one for this, this day, it's my birthday, that's not a problem. Specifics, that might be a problem, but it's okay. I was born in 1980, I'm an old woman in the vaporwave scene, malls are amazing back then. Oh, you're not old. <laughs> A lot of my friends, so, like, I'm turning 29, a lot of my friends are, like, between, like, 35 and 55, so I love to hear, I just love to hear, like, um, you know, back in the 80s, uh, like, I blah, 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 and I'm just there, like, like a kid in the candy store, just, like, or, like, you know, like, when, I don't know, like, your aunt or uncle's telling you this really intense story, and you're just sitting there, like, <laughs> we're watching TV, I don't know. Where's my neons, pastels, and jewel tones? Literally. Like, I even, like, like this green is still, like, even really nice because it's so different. Let me just show you guys my view real quick. My boyfriend's backyard goes out into, like, a forest area. <coughs> oh, no, like, it's okay if it wasn't serious, but, like... I could re I could arrange for the that. <laughs> I've literally made that essay. Honestly, uh, last time I asked it was yeah slush wave. I'm still working on that. It's just like I don't want to go over like I want to see if I can do three hours because I feel like I could do so much more. It's just I feel like I don't know so much about it where. Um, even though I was given that am amazing list that I appreciate very, 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 very much that I still have to like, like I have it screenshotted. I still have to like look for these songs. <coughs> I have four of those songs in a mix already and it's already 52 minutes. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? So like, you know, it might be a shorter mix in the way of the, the, um, uh, the track list, but longer mix in the way of anything. May the force be with you, and also with you. Actually, I'm gonna see if there's a horror style of vaporwave for my birthday. Hmm. I did do... It was Signal Wave and Broken Transmission last year. And I feel like I used a whole lot of, like, like I, I'm like, is there even anything else that, like, I can use for a horror mix? So, because I did, um, hey, Jonathan, how's it going? Trees are good. Yeah, there is, um, there's horror vaporwave, there's analog horror, there's, like, um, I personally really like Witch House. I know, like, nobody on this channel liked the, uh, the couple mixes that I did. Those ones were strictly for me, and I apologize. It was very much like, I love this genre. Do you guys, oh, you guys do not like this. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> but, um, I, I, I've loved Witch House music between, like, 20, I'm gonna say 2011, 2012, till... I mean, even till now, um, it's very like, if anybody knows the band Crystal Castles or Crimes, spelt with a three instead of an E, um, Cross Party's really good, um, Rituals, Crosses, um, fuck, what's, 
Salem. Salem was a really good artist. Um, King Frost? King, King Something is a really good song. A lot of Halloween spooky horror vaporwave comes out in October. True, true. But I like plan my stuff like a good three to four weeks in advance. Um, Christopher uh, noticed um, like one of one of my main one of my mains, one of my regulars pointed out and was like, oh my god, this was made this was uploaded like two two or three weeks ago, like um, like how, like kind of thing like, oh my god, like I can only imagine what's all like put up um, also, anyone who wants to follow my patron, Patreon um, yeah, it's basically tips and early access there's nothing more that I'm able to do because I don't do merch or anything like that um, but it's like early access to mixes. So sometimes like I'll unlist it and it's, it's been on YouTube for like a month and then it's like, it'll, so it'll say like uploaded four weeks ago, but it's like, oh, it's, but it's just coming out. And then it edits when it actually gets scheduled and uploads, upload, uploads. I love Crystal Castles, but yeah, no, um, Ethan is a piece of fucking shit and uh, Alice Glass is amazing. How do you pronounce your name, by the way? Aluwatoyan? I hope I said that right. Uh, I just never considered it for vapor horror. Vapor horror. Like, I can totally see that being like, you know, it's vaporwave, but it's like music from horror movies or just really eerie kind of music done in the style of vaporwave. <clears throat> I'm about to go to therapy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to miss this. Oh, it's all good. Like, thanks for coming. Come fly next to me. Oh, I love that. That's a cute name. Which house isn't bad. Just have to be in the right. Exactly. Like, which house for me, it's, it's very much that dark aesthetic. It's the, um, the health goth, the, um, that kind of aesthetic where it's all it's it's glitch wave or glitch art and things like that i personally love it but i feel over the years like i was heavily into metal and just really depressing music and now it's like i want to be comfortable and i want to be happy and i think that kind of comes with it where it's like i'm still alternative i'm still incorporating my my alternative style into things hence everything but it's my favorite genre is actually jazz and vaporwave, or well, vaporwave, you know, comes from funk, jazz, music, all that good stuff, but, oh my god, Crystal Castles, what a throwback to 2006, Alice Practice, what a great song, right, Crime Wave, um, Air Wars, um, but yeah, no, they're not a thing anymore, and for good reason, but if you, you know, if you like Crystal Castles, go and check out Alice Glass. Um, or crimes, or like all these different artists that are really cool. Yeah, that's cool stuff. It's a Nigerian name. Oh, nice. Okay. Awesome. Dark synthwave makes a good. Honestly, I'm thinking about doing some more synthwave mixes. My friend showed me Synthwave Boy last night, because there's Lo Fi Girl, and then there's Synthwave Boy, and I'm like, most of the synthwave songs that were coming on, I'm like, I know this. This is this is Oddling. This is Hotel Pools. This is um, uh, Extract or like all of these artists that I like. I fucking love FM Attack. Like, um, I'm still kicking myself. I went to the synthwave festival in Toronto before the pandemic, and I missed FM Attack because I'm like, I'm just so tired and my body's tapping out from dancing, from singing, from doing all this stuff. I did get to see a lot of my favorites, like Dana Jane Phoenix, or Dana J Jane Phoenix, and um, Tyler Oakley, uh, Mecca Maiko, and people like that. But I was just like, I, I can't. Um, I'm very much metalcore, so like, if if it's more hardcore than metal, and I apologize, but like, you know, or like Otep. Otep is one of my favorite me metal artists, but like motionless and white in this moment. Um, the more, th I'm gonna say a aesthetic and theatric ones, like, you know, architects are good, but like, 
their aesthetic is very you look like a deathcore kid and your little tank top and your shorts and your adidas where it's like you don't look hardcore and then he opens his mouth and it's like <laughs> i was wrong shit okay Oh, uh, no problem, Alexandria. Thank you for listening to my mixes. No, we can do better than Lo-Fi Girl Channel. <laughs> that, I love that channel. That is one of my favorite channels. Dude, you don't make fun of her. But, um, no, Synthwave Boy. Um, I, I'm like, I'm really liking the aesthetic of his room. It's very purple-blue, um, like, magenta tones. <laughs> And um, it's everything that I would want from a synthwave channel. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> OTAP is amazing. Yeah. Okay, so they have a cover of Royals by um, Lord, and I do that so often for drag. I have this look. It's basically Krampus. So I have a wig with like these big horns, and then just this this really cool outfit. The pants are very much like you know fawn legged like I might as well have like a little tail on the back it's all furry heavily padded and then I wear these like these heelless heels like they're um, a platform about that big with no heel on the back so it's a balancing act for me so much fun I love love to do that um, there's another artist I listen to named Curly K-E-R-L-I um, she self-describes her style as um, bubble goth but it's um it's really cute like um and really cool like her music is very she's from estonia it's like if a gothic lolita girl from europe were to create like synth pop goth pop kind of music love their color cover of breed yeah another good song would love to see some of your drag Instagram, misconduct666, M-I-S-S-C-O-N-D-U-C-T-666. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't post too much to my channel. Like, it's more like, oh, yeah, by the way, guys, I do this. Um, and I get it. Like, for, there were some people that were like, I appreciate this. It's just, it's not the, it's not your normal aesthetic and things like that. And I'm like, I know, I know. Girls are fighting. <coughs> Raw dead. Um, I get it. Like, although if I did come up with a really good vaporwave outfit or mix for drag, you guys know I'd be posting it. <laughs> so, um, for those who want to see that aesthetic or that side of me, that is my Instagram. Um, I'm probably not going to keep this live stream. Like, I'm probably going to, like, ditch it after but can i comment can i write a comment no okay whatever that's fine but yeah i got like i know i got noticed by twisted sister because i did we're not gonna take it at um my city's pride in the park the other day and i'm like even though d snyder is like a, a trump supporter and i don't support that i'm like an 80s band is like noticing me and I'm like holy shit because Otep actually noticed me I I did my uh my performance tagged them in it and sh like they loved it they they reposted it to their stories um same thing with the singer lights um I actually like talk with her sometimes and I'm like this is so super cool um I feel like a famous person but I'm like or not I feel like a famous person but I feel like I'm like how do I describe it? Like, like I fuck with them or something like that. Or I, I can, like, I connect with these famous people. That's the thing. It's like, I don't need to be famous, but like what I do for YouTube and what I do for my community at home here, it's, re it's rewarding, it's affirming, it's reassuring that I'm doing a, a good thing if that makes sense. And I love that. This has got me really talking. <laughs> um, my friend, my boyfriend and I, we were like smoking one of these last night. And I was like, why does this taste like movie theater popcorn with fuzzy peaches? Anyways, I should go. Have a good one, Melendra. 
thanks for stopping by. And if anybody ever has like a comment or like wants to ask me something, wants to tell me something, like any of my mixes, any of my posts, I see like 100% of my comments. So feel free to just comment wherever, whenever. I will see it. I, I do get the notification for it. And I mean, you guys see it. Like I 100% heart all of my stuff. Is ever anything negative, I like remove it. So there's no reason why I shouldn't be hearting everything. Uh, it is called Mango Kiwi Blaze or Haze or something like that. It's um, a distillate infused pre-roll, 32% THC, and it's got CBC in it. It's like CBD, but it's a derivative. It actually helps with neuro regeneration, so it's good for um, brain function. <laughs> I had to think about that. They're like, it's good for depression, brain function, inflammation. Um, it, it's like... Yeah, it's a derivative of CBD that's, like, really good and, and newer on the market, but really good for people. So I'm like, I hope they come out with more flour like that. This is the only pre-roll on the market that has it in. Ah, my leg. <laughs> I look forward to every one of your mixes. Oh, thank you, Lofto. It gets me through the day, honestly. Sometimes I play them in the shop. Sometimes I'll put on, like, we have Spotify Premium at work, so, and I work solo shifts, so, um, if I don't get my music from Nightwave Plaza, I get it from there. So, my C-Punk mix, I don't remember who it was. CBC and CBG are beautiful for that. Thank you. Absolutely. I love CBG. Um, oh my god, what was I saying? Oh my god, what was I saying? Oh yeah, no, um, the C-Punk mix, um, a lot of, or the, I think it was the first C-Punk mix, a lot of those songs came from one playlist specifically of, like, all, like, mm, C-Punk music from the last, like, a year and a half or two years, and somebody commented, or th that person commented, like, oh my god, like, um, used from, like, my mix, and I'm like, yeah, I hope that's okay, and they're like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's all good, so, nice. Um, I hope all's well with you, and it's not... No, it's actually, it's it's really nice today. It's breezy. Um, I, I don't know who does Celsius and Fahrenheit, so I'm going to say it's like at the very most 20 degrees Celsius today, so not too bad. I thought it was so cool you posted about Nightwave Plaza. I've been listening to them for a while. thought I recognized some of the music in your mixes. Yeah, that's typically where like I'll find it. I'll play it if I get like a good 10 second clip where I'm like, I like this. I can typically hear, like, if a song's going to be really good or just really shite. Celsius in the UK. Yes. I think it's just the states that does Fahrenheit for temperature. Like, obviously, like, you know, I don't know about you guys over there in the UK, but <clears throat> on, like, our ovens here, it's like, you know, preheat the oven to 450 Fahrenheit. Um but that like that's the only thing that we really use fahrenheit for <coughs> literally the um <coughs> the exhale like I said, it's it's mango kiwi, but it tastes like fuzzy peaches straight up <laughs> and buttered popcorn. I'm going to mix those two together the next time I'm at the movie theater. <laughs> <coughs> That's fucking hilarious. I love that. It's actually a really good taste. There are certain distillates, like a watermelon distillate. I, when I get it right, no, like when I get it right in the gag reflex, right in the back of my throat. I like it's nasty it tastes great but the feeling in the back of my throat it doesn't hit right um okay so if you know like CBG and CBC and all that kind of stuff um do you know about the king palms the um the palm leaf blunt papers and a lot of them have like distillate infused beads with it or something I had one that was watermelon 
And this is how I knew that I like, because I also tested other like watermelon distillate pre-rolls and it's just not it. Either that or it was just a bad time with the King Palm, but I tried the watermelon one, broke the bead, started inhaling and that's all I get. And I'm like, I'm gonna puke, this is so nasty. Do you ever deep dive around YouTube for content? Absolutely. Um, sometimes what I'll do is like, I'll put in like vaporwave or whatever genre I'm looking for. And I'll do like recent ones. So ones that have been posted recently, or I'll really go down the rabbit hole and be like, bring me something from 2013 or something like that. You know, um, if anybody has any songs that like I might not have posted or um, anything new, anything old, anything classic, uh, anything that they want to hear that they haven't, send me, again, either a comment or an email, and I will try and get that song, or songs. Uh. <laughs> I love rose petal joints, they use extracts to adhere. Okay, I've seen them but I haven't used one yet. I was actually at, like thinking about using a rose petal as a joint paper, but it's like, it has to be dried out in a way where it's not gonna crumble in my hand, but it's not gonna be too moist. Not that word. <laughs> Have you ever seen some videos made by Keen Pixels? Yes, and I believe you left a comment if it wasn't you, it was definitely somebody left a comment on my channel about them. Um, briefly. I think it was, like, super briefly. Lately, I haven't been, like, I'm gonna say in the, in the past, like, six months, I haven't been on YouTube as much other than posting and just, like, um, replying to comments and things like that. I, I do apologize. <laughs> I feel so fake with that. And I'm like, it's just, especially with this past month, I have not had the time to really do that. Although I, I'm sure I could at work too. I work solo shifts and my job's slow enough for like, and no offense to my job or anything like that. It's just, we j we're just building our customer base. Um, sometimes I bring my laptop and I like work on mixes there or um, I'll ha like I said, like when customers come in and I have like music playing in the shop and I'm like, what was that song? I'm gonna take a picture of that and look it up later. Big up from Budapest. Nice. The way you pair your mixes and images always creates such a feeling. Thank you. Um, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys how it all kind of started. So in 2018, I went to the Azores. Like, um, my mom's like, I need you to meet your grandfather before he passes, and I need to show you where I'm from because, like, I wasn't shown where my dad's from, but it's like. I know so much about the UK because my dad was born in Oxford um, that it's, I know I know nothing about the Azores. So when I went, it was just the most beautiful experience of my life. I would want, like 10 out of 10 recommend, will absolutely go back. Iceland is just next on the list. <laughs> um, and I created this whole mix on the airplane ride or two one was a takeoff mix that was just it was a lot of synth wave music it was a lot of multi-genres so like just music I'm like i want to feel alive and i want to feel like like i want my my i want to envision this aesthetic and really take it in and really feel it it could be the neurodivergency in me <laughs> saying that but where else is it going to come from honestly uh, and, uh, I also, like, while we were in the air, I'm like, okay, so I'm in the zone now. Let's plan, like, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be nice and warm. Like, it doesn't get too hot. I don't think it gets anything above, like, 30 or 35. Like, the range is basically 10 to 30 because it is on the ocean, and it's, like, just at like the right fault line and all this kind of stuff. There's volcanoes on every mountain or on every mountain, every uh, island. And um, I wanted to do like a vacation, a summer vacation mix that had music like, um, I think it was the third ever playlist that I, I posted, but it, 
every single one of those songs were in that mix along with other things. So like Distant by Blood Wave, um, Blunt by I Don't Remember, uh, Springtime Stroll um, by um, Secret Crates. Like, you know, the more summer lo-fi side of Vaporwave, but still like, you know, Residents by Home and like people like, like stuff like that. And, um, yeah, and then, uh, like, at that time, Tumblr was such a big thing for me where it was, like, I would stare at pictures to escape from how shitty my life was to go in, like, and just experience this. The, like, so, like, you know, um, the neon food court that Bluntside uses for their... Um, album cover I literally it's like I was there it's like I remember being there oddly enough if that makes sense but I know that I've never been to this place or um, the picture I used for my my sun kissed uh, summertime lo-fi mix the third one that I ever created that one that I was just talking about uh, it's like, oh no, like, that's like my summer house, like, <laughs> I'm hanging out and that's like my, I don't know what the car is, so I'm just gonna say like, oh, that's like my Porsche, my Mercedes, or something like that. I don't know how to drive, so, um, I don't know, just things like that. And it's, it's very, it's soothing and it's, it's, it almost like, I aspire to get to that point, wherever that is in life, in, in the world or in life, if it, whether it's like, it, this is a position that I want to be in, or I physically want to be in that position, looking directly at that view. <laughs> so, I don't know, like, solar punk places in um, Singapore, or Diamond Beach in Vic, Iceland, or places like that. Hey Axel and Joaquin, how's it going? Love your mixes, help me study and vibe, love that. It's funny because uh, one of my good friends, he's like, oh, like when I need to study or need to chill, I usually listen to one of your mixes. Um, and like, you know, my boyfriend and I go to bed to like one of my mixes. Um, my main one is like, or the main one we listen to is Home for the Holidays. So my winter, my winter lo-fi mix. I'm gonna finish this, we're gonna talk a little bit more, and then I'm gonna go. I might actually end up posting this because this was a really good mix. <coughs> Wrong way. <coughs> What's my takeaway from this? Um, guns are bad, okay? <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> what are some of your most viewed mixes? Okay. So my most viewed mix, period, is um, Indoor Pool Cavern, which I'm so happy about. I was really happy with the way that that one came out. That and Corporate Casual were basically doing this, and then it sort of went like that. But now Corporate Casual's are like really high. It's the next one in view count that would be a uh, hundred thousand, or that would get up to a hundred thousand views. So Indoor Pool Cavern. Mm. I'm gonna screw this. Uh, Midnight Madness, Mall Soft Mix, and then my one hour Mall Soft Mall Walking Simulation video, and then Corporate Casual, Hotel Pool. The Aquarium is getting really, like, it's getting a whole lot of views really quick. I think it's only been out four months and it's at 48,000 or 50,000 views already, which I was like, I love when that happens. It's very much, it doesn't feel like I won, it feels like we won. Because that tells me so many people are listening to Vaporwave mixes. Whether it's for the aesthetic, for the simulation, or specifically for that genre or subgenre of Vaporwave. Hey folk and Deep Sea Current, don't make yourself laugh. <laughs> Why? I listen to Indoor Pool Cavern to fall asleep often. I love that. It, for me, it's... 
I never use it as uh, a bedtime mix. I need to have like, like I usually use my Deep Sea Currents official bedtime mix. Um, there is a bee buzzing around me, nobody move. <laughs> But I do love to use it as ambience, and I used it a whole lot when I was working at Sessions Cannabis. Because <laughs> it was sort of like, I was shift lead, we had a TV there, and I'm like, it's aesthetic, and it gives music, so it, it helps. And then my ASM was sort of like, yeah, we're not going to do that, sorry. You, you can do the music, that's fine, but the aesthetic, we'll leave it at, um, like, you know, like, plants and things like that which I'm like hey like I'm perfectly fine with that too uh, oh no um I had Spongebob up and she was like why is Spongebob on that TV and and uh Baywatch on that one and I was like okay like I've been to tattoo shops where they have like you know TVs playing in the background of things people not really paying attention and she's like okay I get that but and I'm like okay sorry <laughs> anyways um so cool to see you live uh you sure helped me keep my mental health during the pandemic years That's... thank you and you're welcome <laughs> i uh me too those mixes were really helping me get by i know the first lockdown i really wasn't doing anything and it was five months of me like with a bong to my chin like literally staring at the drown drooling because of how just fucking stoned i was getting myself and not doing anything else with my time I'm so glad to have the job that I do now. <sighs> the job that I had then, I'm like, I'm so glad that we had the lockdown. It was like, I, I, it was the best time of my life. And then I had to go back to that. And then I quit that. Was off work for five months. My stepdad told me to get a my can sell, which is what you need to sell cannabis. And then we went from there. <laughs> Three jobs later or well two jobs later and then i got this one so i'm really liking this job and it's it's a good one i really like my team i love the location especially with the fact that i, I can walk to work and get starbucks on the way <laughs> these fucking squirrels man they're fucking menaces <laughs> <coughs> excuse me Oh, we're at like 97 minutes. That's funny. Okay, I'm going to cap it at 100 and we'll go from there. That's hilarious. No, the pandemic was something. I wish it didn't go long as long as it did. But I think it changed a lot of people for the better. I know for me it was like, I don't need to accept this into my life. That is negative. I don't need to live this lifestyle because it's it's considered I don't know or just something like that <laughs> <coughs> and it taught me a lot about like you know do side hustles like have your part-time job and a side hustle you still make the same amount of money as full-time the government sees that you're working enough but yeah. Agree about people changing for the better, literally. Thanks for the live stream. It was fun getting to know you a bit more. Oh, not a problem. Thanks for joining. And ditto, actually. I actually... I, ow! That was on the tattoo. Um, I appreciate my... I'm gonna say... I, or, I don't want to say my older subscribers, but older than me, being 29. Because it's like, I get to hear about things that, like... I, I missed because like again 494 so it's like my memory only goes back really to like 97 where I can remember aesthetic things as a kid but like you can only hold on to so much right uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. good luck yeah we got 50 seconds left <laughs> so I'm gonna do it right at 100 yeah uh it seems like a good, nice, sunny day. And there's no haze in the air, so... So far, we're winning today, right? <laughs> nah. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys my vaporwave tattoo real quick. Or some of them. I got my jazz cup, my banjo tui, my vaporwave socks. <laughs> Lisa Simpson. Wacko. I got my my avatar done. Three, two, one, bite. 